Wanda Water is an organization where we believe that clean water can change the world. Because unfortunately there's a lot of people, over a billion people on the planet, lack access to improved water and sanitation. A lot of times we don't realize that there's young kids that spend hours walking to get water and they don't get to go to school. Or it also helps support local economies. There's a lot of times when they don't have water, they're spending so much money to try to get clean water or on medicines to treat their children, that when we provide clean water, not only do we help with education, we help uh, support local economies. We help the environment. A lot of our disasters that we respond to uh, would normally be responded with hundreds of millions of plastic bottles of water, but we respond with things like water filtration devices that'll last a decade. We typically vet different um, opportunities that come our way and we listen to the stories that they have to tell and the good that they're doing across the world or in our local areas and we were just blown away by the story that Wind Water had to tell and felt like um, even in a small donation we could give back in a big way based on what they do. So today we built filters for Wind to Water and uh, the filters will be delivered to areas around the world where there's not clean drinking water so people can cleanse their hands, drink clean water, um, make baby formula that's um, safe and these filters are amazing because you build them and they'll last at least 10 years and maybe up to 30 years if they're properly taken care of. So to hear the story of where Doc came from and how he started the company, why he started the company, and how quickly he went from zero to really feeling this was so important. Um, I mean, I wanted to jump through a, a brick wall for the guy by the time he got done telling us. So, and I could just sense just the emotion and power in the room. And then to see our group come together and start challenging each other and having a little bit of fun with how quickly each um, assembly line could build them. Um, and I just know the sense of uh, good and, and strength coming out of the, the day's events is going to be pretty powerful and carry us through the weekend. We wanted to water, we learned about the 1% for the Planet program and learned about the ability to compound our efforts basically. So we believe that we're not going to be able to accomplish this goal on our own. We're not going to be able to help alleviate the global water crisis just by ourselves and just starting like we were before by hosting fun events and bars and restaurants in people's homes. Like we'll help a lot of people, but we need to partner with other organizations in order to do that. 1% for the Planet has allowed us to, to have other partners that are passionate about the same type of work that we are, help them to find us or vice versa, us to find them. And so to, for organizations like Reliant have allowed us to compound our efforts. Whereas without 1% for the Planet, we would not be here today. We would not have found y'all or y'all found us and be able to do this experience. Have y'all support our Water for Schools program, the Filter Build program. So it's really allowed us to meet passionate, exciting partners that otherwise we may have never met before. But I think more and more that we have a population of people that want the companies that they support, that they buy products from, to also care about the planet to also care about people, to also care about their local or their global communities, either one. So I think it's so important that businesses begin to realize that and recognize, and I, and I think it is. I think it's an exciting thing happening right now in our culture that businesses are realizing that it's not okay just to only focus on the bottom line. It's a powerful bonding experience when the team knows that they're doing good for, not just for the company and themselves, but for others. It's so rewarding to be able to spend time and listen to what small things we do and the big impact that they have on people that maybe are a little less fortunate or in need. Um, so I, I do encourage all businesses to give back, but um, for us it's just become part of the fiber of our business and our company and our people and it's, I can't explain how powerful it is.